Now we'll be studying about mass energy equivalence. We know well that uh, mass is equivalent to energy according to mass energy relationship by Albert Einstein, which we are going to use in nuclear physics very frequently. That's why the topic is taken up here individually. We can write that uh, generally atomic and nuclear masses are measured in atomic mass unit which is termed as AMU which is abbreviated as AMU or uh, it can be written in small letters also and here we can write it is given as as atomic and nuclear masses are very small we need a small unit so this one AMU or sometimes it is written as one unit only which is equals to 1.656 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram. So this is the unit which is significantly important for measurement of nuclear or atomic masses. Just to eliminate the exponent term in the units of kilogram. And here we can write in a nuclear reaction. This is a direct conversion factor I am going to use. In a nuclear reaction, if one unit or one AMU is mass defect, then amount of energy released due to this can be given as the delta E which we can write as delta M C square if we substitute the values delta M will be 1 AMU that we can write as 1.656 into 10 to power minus 27 multiplied by 3 into 10 to power 8 whole square and this will be the amount in joules we can calculate we can divide it by 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 and this will be the amount of energy released in electron volt so when we calculate here the value of delta e comes out to be 931.5 into 10 to power 6 electron volt or this can be written as 931.5 million electron volt. This is quite a useful and important conversion factor we are going to use frequently in various reactions. Wherever if we know the mass defect in atomic mass unit, we can directly multiply it by 931.5 million electron volt. That will give us the total amount of energy released in the nuclear reaction.